Hey, what's up? You're watching new episode of Nature Travel Films. Today we are going to color grade and color correct together some footage from Mavic Mini Drone. There is never too much new information about color grading, so let's uh, do it together today. So, I'm working in Premiere Pro, so here you need to go to the window and Lumetri Color to open this panel to get started with the color correcting. So if, if you select your adjustment layer, I recommend do the color correction uh, this way. So you just make new adjustment layer and then you can just drag them up. The creative tab is for look. So here you need to import a lot. So I recommend you, this is not the actually any kind of commercial or integration. I just use this lots because I just love them, so they work, they do their their task. So an, uh, especially one lot is the Rubicon lot that's uh, mentioned here. I will put the link in the description so you will be easily able to find this. All the videos from Mavic Mini that you saw before was graded uh, with the Rubicon lot. So here is the few of, of the options uh, in uh, some of them are Rubicon. So Rubicon Remastered, Better Skin Tones. I choose this because this uh, is working very nice. I compared all of them, but I suggest you start with this and then experiment with all the other other lots. So when we import this lot directly, we can see that it's a little bit kind of saturating, contrasting everything and a little bit um, yellowing all the footage so but the thing is that lot doesn't meant to be like just one move drop just on the footage and you get just uh, the super best result so you always almost always need to correct it a little bit so and we go to basic correction tab and there I usually do some shadow work so i just lift up the shadow sometimes in this shot maybe not that much but i bring back the highlights because this is the most common actions and then for your taste you can correct the white balance temperature and tint so let's do like this for this specific shot so let's look at this this is now looking uh, not like something specifically super kind of cinematic look, but it were, it looks definitely better. So if we compare, so it's just more flat before and then you have some look. Because of uh, that not so much colors in the shot, you can't uh, really get super specific look here, but it definitely helps. Uh, so it gives to the jacket some specific tint. So, and let's go next. Here is some sunset shot with the, some church, red brick building. So let's do the same stuff. We can bring our lot from our lot pack here. You immediately can see how the sun flare become much more beautiful um, than before. So as the accent is there. So it wasn't uh, showing these colors. Let's begin with these shots, like, okay. Definitely we here need to bring highlights back and some shadows up, so definitely. So uh, some contrast, maybe a little bit lowering. So exposure, it's okay. So, but here, for example, we need to split the shots because this needs more shadow lift up and a little bit more. So, and some uh, contrast actually, and saturation to match those two shots together better, we need to do this. So this is after and before, it's kind of more flatty, but I think that I want to make it even more warm and some, some tint. So this is looking better. Okay, this shot. Yeah, I like the sun flare there, so it's awesome. I like actually how Mavic Mini is giving those sun flares in the lens, so it's it looking good. So 
let's look at the shot without grading. So it's not bad, it's good shot, but still though, much less interesting without this loot lot. So you can see how much more energy is there. So it's a very quick way to make something to look better. <laughs> let's go next. This shot is more kind of white and uh, less saturated colors in the background. So let's look. We definitely need to bring some highlights back. You can see in the water, oh, <clears throat> there in the water line. So, and the skies are actually bringing back. So, and a little bit of shadow detail, of course. So, and we can see immediately how, how much better it becomes. So uh, let's make a little bit different white balance settings. This, I like this, um, white better it's more true to life i guess and more poppy a little bit so let's look this is how mavic mini is actually not that flat in terms of like dynamic range it's 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 giving enough i guess this video i shot with automatic white balance so uh, before that update so I think it's it's looking good and this shot let's split this because we can bring more shadows here a little bit and some do some additional tweaking because it could it's it's it needed to be needs to be more pop poppy so <laughs> pop out more so you can see how it looks now and in comparison so it's much, much more interesting shot after this quick edit. So this is how I do all my videos with Mavic Mini. Let's go next. So we have some uh, low light examples now. So uh, let's bring our lot. So you can immediately see the difference in water color. So it make it a little bit different. So, and I don't want to make it so warm here. This looks in more interesting when it's more cooler. So we can bring some, you can see how, how well you can bring highlights back. So, and then with some shadow bringing, you can easily get not so bad shot. It's like, you need to remember that this is pretty dark uh, after the sunset like situation. So you can see Let's look before so more flat less interesting shot and then more dynamic range here. Actually, I think These work well. So from the first look when you bring this uh, Lot on the video you get very spoiled situation. So it's super darker and more too much contrast so you can bring directly contrast back some shadow details up and definitely some white balance corrections needed. So maybe even more contrast and some saturation off because that's going to look much more realistic. Actually, if we compare uh, with, um, it's it's definitely giving some noise because I, I turned up the shadows to like a lot in this situation so not too much but a lot and the contrast uh, making less contrast image is also gaining you some noise but actually i do like how mavic mini is working at night so if you have some light it's going to look good enough to be used so for web and especially for like phone screens we are now looking at this at the 5.7K monitor and it's not that super bad. So we live now in the situation, you know, in the century where type of story or telling and some emotions and feelings, not about like the quality no more that much. So to tell a story, you can use your Mavic Mini and it's usable enough. Yes, it's grainy. It's not like giving you super film look. 
Yes, it's grainy, but some people adding the grain to their videos. So you already have this, I don't know, old school grainy look. So I like that this is not some jumpy grain, jumpy noise, but it's grain, more grain kind of look on Mavic Mini. So this umbrella processor that's baked into this small guy, giving you good results. Actually, it's something that GoPro uses for a long time. Here is another one from one la latest video that you can find on my channel, some shots. Here actually, this is the first video that I shot in a constant white balance value. So, and then it doesn't change over the flight and uh, it's solid. It's a little bit too much contrast right away. So just let's bring some highlights back and some shadows up, some contrast back down uh, and some white balance settings need to be corrected so in this specific situation I like the greens more there so but we can just work around to make it better so I think some corrections can say you know you can see this now makes leaves this look, actually, this lot is changing greens, but all depending on light, so. So, and one more thing that I want to talk about here is that in the creative tab, we have some sharpening. So let's make adjustment layer over all the video examples, many footages that we have today and add some sharpening down to negative 10 plus value so and in my mind in my opinion this gives much better look to the same footage because it's not over sharp that much uh, because Mavic Mini tends to over sharp footage because there is only one look that it's baked into the Mavic Mini uh, settings so they made something that can hold different light situations you can see how sharp is all over here and then it's more smooth and then you forget about that this is shot on Mavic Mini so when you turn on softening negative sharpening on the night footage actually it's looking good so anyway but it's I, I prefer and that unsharped image at night. So the Mavic Mini is specially made to hold darker situations in high ISO situations. Pretty acceptable, exceptional. So, but here on a very sunny and bright daylight, this is definitely giving you much better results in overall experience of consuming the image. So. And if you find this video helpful, just leave a like. It's definitely helping uh, to spread this to more people. That will be nice. If you find this information helpful, just I would be so happy if you do this.